Okay. I want to show you something. I want to kind of get a, a, an idea of what you feel. Well, first yeah, off, you know what this is. Well, first off, let me show you this. This is a this is something that's going to come out in, in <coughs> Discovery anyway, but I wanted to show it to you. Do you know Annie Downing? Yes. Okay. How close are you as far as friends with Annie Downing? Not very. Okay. We work in the same place, um, but she was a friend of Casey and Lauren's, not really my friend. Okay. What about her and Annie doing Xanax? Because again, that's that's the reason I want to ask you about this. From the top, from now, from the point where you sit in this chair back, she's been arrested several times. She's back in jail, and you know she's being charged. She, being Casey, is being charged with first degree murder. Have you come to learn certain things about Casey and what she's done in the past that you didn't know of prior? As far as drug related or yeah. in general? You no, know, as far as drug related, let's focus I've on that. I've heard speculation on it as far as what Jesse told me um, and what's been said in the media, but it's all speculation. I haven't heard anything. What about that. Annie or from uh, or from Lauren? Any one of them kind of tell you, hey, you know, let's hope they don't find out about this? Well, or I, don't, I haven't talked to Lauren in months, which is before this whole thing happened, and Annie and me are not close, so okay. she wouldn't tell anything like that to me. This is off of unallocated clusters, and it says here, basically, Marie is Casey, Casey or Marie, and it's a small conversation here between her and someone else. And it says that she could hit up her friend Annie for some Xanax. And this conversation takes place uh, probably about middle of last year. Okay. Any of this sound familiar to you at all? Middle of 07? Yeah. No. We weren't, I mean, besides that one time we saw each other at the party, I didn't really know her at that time. So. Well, that's what makes me <laughs> ask is if she was having this conversation in 07, and then you guys met about the middle of 07, that if she were to have used it, yeah, if she were to have used it, you know, maybe you would have known, or maybe that would kind of say, oh, you know what, come to think, but I remember her and Annie used to kind of run off together and then come back, and they seemed... Yeah, well, I mean, th throughout the fall when I really hung out with Casey, mm -hmm. we hung out with the three of us in a group, Amy, I mean, me, Casey, and Annie, maybe once that whole fall semester, so Annie wasn't really around us. But no, I don't know of anything like this. Casey, <clears throat> she... I guess played herself to be like a good girl. She really didn't deal with pot and mm -hmm. anything harder than that. She was totally against. At least that's how she portrayed herself to us. So I had no, I have no idea about Xanax during that time or afterwards. Right. You said you, you knew what I was going to show you before I even flip it over. What do you think I'm going to show you? A picture that I had on my <laughs> website. <laughs> okay. It was a joke. When did you post the picture? Uh, I don't know. Um, probably beginning spring of this year, maybe. I don't okay. know. Well, just 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 so just so we're, we're clear, because this obviously this is just a tape, but there's no video. It says here, I'm showing you a picture. It says winter over with chloroform. It says a guy kissing a girl. Uh, they're both very well dressed. And you, you say it was just kind of a joke. Ex explain how this came up or, or when it came up, if you can give me an idea. I just found it online, and I thought it was kind of funny, not you know for practical purposes, just as a joke. Mm -hmm. I mean, and I put it on my website, and now here it is. Yeah. Do you have an idea of when you posted that? You say spring. Can you narrow it down a little bit more? I don't know. I don't know the date I posted it. No. Okay. Just so we're clear, and so we're, I know, so people other know what picture I'm showing you. Could you go ahead and do me a favor? Just either write your name, initial, and date it so we know that's a photograph that I showed you. So that way there's no question later on in case somebody asks, well, what did you show? And today is the 27th, and it's now 102. You put the time down there if you don't mind. One or two. Thanks. Tell me about Casey and chloroform. What What do you know? Or now that you obviously we know that that picture's on your computer, and you also understand that pretty much every time you go on your computer, it leaves almost like an impression or a uh, an, an image on the internet of what you go searching on. And you know, obviously, we've done that with Casey's computer. That's why we know certain things that we know. What I would hate to have it find out is that. Uh, Casey may have used your computer for certain purposes or may have used your computer for certain searches. I'd rather find out about it now through you than find out it later when, when all these internet hits come back and says, well, you know what, this guy at this IP address was searching for chloroform and it's tied into Casey. That's it. Well, as far as her having the access to my computer, she definitely did. I mean, while we were dating, she... I could I would frequently go off to work and she'd be there. She said she'd take a shower and leave and do her own thing. Um, so she had... Plenty of access to my computer. It's not locked, password protected, or anything like that. But as far as the first time I heard anything <coughs> involving her and chloroform was after this, uh, I guess a month and a half ago, two months ago, when it first was on the news that they, you know, found traces in her car. What was your What was your feeling about that when you first heard that? Did, did this come to mind at all? No, actually, no. I had already changed the picture. I didn't think about it until actually Leonard Padilla said something on 
on the news about me using chloroform and sexual practices. Um, so I was wondering where he got it from. And then I looked through, I saw that one. Um, it's since been deleted, but it doesn't really do much. <laughs> is that the day you deleted it then? Is the day that I guess you saw the report or that you heard from? Uh, it probably wasn't the same day. No, I don't think so. Okay. Because like I said, there's a, there's, a, there's a log out there when pictures are inserted and pictures are deleted on yeah. MySpace, Facebook, and all I mean, that. I just took it off for future purposes. I know, obviously, it's on there. It's probably on record that it was there. I can't do anything about that, but. Obviously. Yeah, here it is. Yeah. Is there any or are there any other pictures on your MySpace or Facebook that you, you took off that you were worried, you know, kind of like this? Um, I took off pictures of myself, which were just anything that I feel like I don't want the general public to right. see. That it is might be a little embarrassing or something. For friends and stuff like that, it's not really meant for it to be displayed on, mm -hmm. on national TV and stuff. So anything I felt like I, don't, I wouldn't be comfortable with the whole, whole world seeing, I took off. And most of them were just pictures of myself. Um, any pictures that I may have had with myself and Casey, even though I don't think I had any, I probably mm -hmm. deleted. Um, and then my MySpace, I pretty much just cleared it out. There's nothing on there. So. Would you have any objection, again, knowing that Casey was at your house, knowing that Casey had access to your computer, knowing that Casey could have done searches on your computer? Matter of fact, this could have been what triggered her searches for chloroform mm -hmm. on her own computer. And that's one of the reasons that we bring it up. Would you have any objection to allowing us to look at your computer? And what I mean by look at, is that we're able to actually make a, uh, a copy of your hard drive, and then we, we have programs that are able to access it to find out who is searching what websites on what days so that we can kind of compare your computer to the times that she was at your house to you know certain searches that might be incriminating that we'd rather find out through you rather than have it go on the Internet and find out, oh, yeah, this search was done on this website and it comes back to this IP, you know what IP address is, right? Yeah. This IP address and then it comes back to you. Um, no, I'm not currently going to be given on my computer now. Okay. I mean, if it... Well, I'm, I'm, I'm sure there's an explanation for it, so at that time I'll address it. Um, I mean, it should be time-stamped, and if I'm at work at that time, then obviously it wasn't me, but... And that's exactly what we're looking for, because if you're at work, that's something that's real easy for us to prove. If you're at work and she's at your house, or you're, there's someone doing searches on your computer, then it's obviously not you. Mm -hmm. well, so, um, but no, I'm not going to give consent to that right now. Okay. You had some questions about uh, some Yeah, I, I, Ricardo, the conversation we had before, I have no reason to believe you weren't coming forward everything that you had at the time. Okay. But we've also ran into that with a couple other people. Um, <clears throat> and one thing in particular, okay. I'm going to take Tony, for instance. When we first interviewed Tony, he omitted some things that he were kind of made him feel bad about the situation because it's a lot to handle particularly at your age just living the life that you guys are living being single and trying to make your way in, in, in the world oh. he omitted a few things that he had a hard time dealing with like telling her well he only wanted to have boys that's driving him that's driving him crazy really I mean that and a few other things but he omitted that from the first time that he and I sat and talked left it out okay. Jesse he left a couple things out. One, one which was pretty big that we had to go and get clarification on was that he said he heard the child playing in the background on a certain date, which kind of screwed up our whole timeline for a long time. But we've since worked that out. Now, knowing what I know and knowing what Yuri knows and looking back at some things, and you've had plenty of time to look back at some things, I know that maybe, particularly looking here, January, knowing that this was the first time you met the child, the it wasn't that time. Um, it was on a Saturday, maybe two weeks before that. This is your birthday, though, right? So you're saying Saturday, maybe the 12th, first time you met the child? That sounds right, yeah. Kaylee? Mm -hmm. Okay. 